Hello, I'm Mary Ann Lowe's from Matthewsoft Technologies. This presentation is about developing OS diagnostic embedded applications. Embedded applications run on a platform comprised of a target OS, hardware, and devices, as shown here. Traditionally, development teams put a lot of effort, time, and money into completely re-architecting the application and platform components for the next generation product. With the recent economic downturn and constantly changing platform environments, engineers must seek alternatives to traditional development and take a serious look at abstraction solutions to ensure that their software is not tied to specific OS hardware and devices. Applications are developed with a particular platform in mind. The software is locked to the current platform. If the component of that platform changes, the application will no longer run without costly changes to the code due to variances in platform. This makes your software obsolete with a short life cycle. There are many reasons platforms change, such as changes in technical requirements, such as needs for better performance, using a safety standards based OS, or an OS that has wider driver middleware support. Also, switching to more economical platforms, platforms becoming obsolete, as well as market and industry demands. Lots of time and money go into developing an application. This investment must be protected when platforms change. Developers need to leverage their existing software to recoup the time and money invested. Software reuse can be accomplished by using an abstraction platform for new code development. Software reuse is more than just reusing specs, UI, and high-level design. It is also more involved in developing modular components, which is only effective when not using any third-party components, such as NOS hardware devices and middleware. Effective software abstraction will allow for swapping these third-party components without compromising performance. Abstraction provides the ability to develop software that can be reused across multiple environments without changing the code. A good abstraction protects software investment. It keeps it from being locked to a particular platform from day one to eliminate application porting efforts. This provides the user more negotiating power when dealing with third-party components, since the software is not locked to a particular platform. This also makes new development easier, since it can start from, uh, with reusing existing code instead of starting from scratch. Abstraction negates future porting issues and protects the code. This avoids shifting the focus away from the organization's core competencies, so developers can focus on creating new products and features. It also ensures that the fundamental OS resources behave the same across all platforms. The features offered by operating systems differ greatly. In addition, the way applications utilize the services offered by operating systems greatly differs. These issues are solved through abstraction, providing software portability across operating systems. Abstraction also reduces the potential learning curve across operating systems by introducing a single API set for multiple operating systems and makes the concept of code reuse easier to adopt. Abstraction allows for development of host-based proof-of-concept applications quickly and cheaply, since the POC can be developed without the real target platform. With abstraction, product development knowledge is not locked to a specific vendor's tools, IDE, or platform thereby creating opportunities for the future. Using abstraction means hardware changes won't impact applications. Application development teams can keep developing on their schedule without worrying about changes to the hardware or underlying platform made by the hardware team. There are many challenges in creating an abstraction solution. An abstraction solution has to support a variety of operating systems and account for new versions in the future. It should not impact the application performance. Abstraction design should include performance improvements and application-specific platform optimizations as key goals. Abstraction design should have a mechanism to collect performance data so that when a platform component changes, a comparison component can be, can be made between the performance of the new and old platform. Abstraction implementation should always utilize lower-level OS API features for better performance. It should also take advantage of compile time translations to minimize runtime impacts. Abstraction solutions should not fully rely on the underlying OS. If an OS misses a specific feature, the abstraction should provide that feature to ensure portability of the application. Abstraction API implementation needs to be wrapperless. In addition to performance issues brought about by our wrapper, it also just maps an abstraction API to the underlying equivalent OS API resulting in too much reliance on the underlying OS, which will create porting issues in the future. 
Across the web development platform is an abstraction solution for embedded C, C++ applications. Different applications, shown in the red gear on the far left, can be written to one or more of the Cross OS interface options, shown in the blue gear. The interface options provided by Cross OS include OS Extractor from Massysoft and the industry standard POSIX or MicroItron API. Code written to any of these interfaces will run on multiple operating systems, shown in the green gear, to negate any future porting issues. This solution can be utilized to consolidate applications written to different interfaces on one OS or to write applications using a single interface that will run on multiple operating systems so that it is protected from future OS changes or for the purpose of sharing code on multiple platforms. It is a true cross-OS solution. Cross-OS development platform is access to the Eclipse-based application common operating environment, APCO which can be installed on a Windows or Linux host machine. Applications can be developed in NAPCO using the appropriate cross-OS interface on a host machine. There are two options for exporting the cross-OS source code. One option is to generate full source code package that will be taken into a selected IDE to manually scale and configure the package for the application. The second option is to use the GUI-based wizard to configure the generated cross-OS package for the application. The package generated will be scaled specifically to the services used in the application. Once the cross-OS package has been generated, the application is compiled and linked with the package to allow the application to run on the new target OS. More information can be found on Mapisoft's website. To download Mapisoft's free software evaluation, visit mapisoft.com forward slash download. Technical data such as data sheets, user guides, release notes, and white papers can be found on the technical data page at mapisoft.com forward slash text data. For any additional information, please contact Mapisoft at mapisoft.com forward slash contact or call toll free at 877 Mapisoft. Thank you.